this is Brenda Rialto. And I'm Mary Jo McCleary. And this is My Generation. Generation. Trying to cause a big s- s- sensation. My talking about my t- t- generation. So Brenda, today we're talking about the generations and how they learn. What generations are we talking about? Well, Mary Jo, the um, three generations that I'd like to discuss today are the Millennials, Mm -hmm. the Generation Xers, Mm -hmm. and the Baby Boomers. So what makes them different? Well, what makes them different is not only their ages, but also a little bit about their ideals and how they think and, and what has influenced them throughout their lives. Millennials are generally individuals who were born in or after 1982. I text more than I call people. My iPod is like my entire life. Millennials gravitate toward group activities and identify with their parents' values, whom they feel very close to. Millennials believe that it's cool to be smart and they are generally fascinated with new technologies. Their strengths include multitasking, goal orientations, positive attitudes, and a collaborative style. Gen Xers were born between 1965 and 1980. Gen Xers are doing the quiet work of keeping America from sucking. My original position was, we're Generation X and it's over. We're done. We have accomplished very little. We've been crushed between the boomers and the millennials. My perspective changed. And to much, much to my surprise, I became more of an optimist. And uh, the, the title of the book is X Saves the World. That's meant ironically, of course. That's meant in a sort of comic book way. And yet, to paraphrase Johnny Rotten, I mean it, man. I mean, I, it's, it's meant at the same time. It's intended. I do, in fact, think, believe it or not, that Generation Xers are saving the world. Gen Xers tend to be technologically adept individualistic and tend to put great value on a balance between work and life. They also have radically different expectations of customer service than previous generations. Their views have been sculpted by such historical events as the fall of the Berlin Wall, the emergence of AIDS, the implementation and advancement of the World Wide Web, and such catastrophes as Chernobyl, the Exxon Valdez, and the Challenger Explosion. Boomers were born between 1946 and 1964. You can email these to selected media, but why can't, why, why want to take a picture? Take photo. Oh, oh dear. I did it before by accident. Boomers are well established in their careers and generally hold positions of power and authority. Boomers tend to be work centric, goal oriented, and competitive. Their lives, personalities, and attitudes have been sculpted by such experiences as the space race, the civil rights movement, the Vietnam War, and the Watergate scandal. That's very interesting, Brenda. So what do the generations think of one another? Thank you for asking that. It's something I've always wondered about. Yeah, it is kind of a complex issue. Um, to be honest, there, there are a lot of different opinions about the matter, but the way I see things, it works a little bit like this. The boomers are the older generation. They are typically in positions of authority mm-hmm. and leadership right now. Okay. And um, one of the things that we're seeing with them is that they're not really stepping down from those positions of authority. Mm-hmm. Um, they're hanging on to those positions as, as tightly as they can which sort of turns into a problem for the Generation Xers. Mm -hmm. Um, The Gen Xers in the past were looked at as sort of the slackers. Um, They were, you know, the grunge sort of kids back in the 90s. And now they're more looked at sort of as the technologically advanced group, the the hipsters, if you will. Um, and the millennials are the youngsters now, the ones that are in high school and approaching college. Um, and, and the interaction between the millennials and the Gen Xers is sort of one of defiance, which is typical. Um, each generation sort of tries to do the opposite of the previous generation, but it's not necessarily like that. It, it's all based on their ideals and the experiences that they've had. So right now what we're seeing is the millennials and the boomers are relating to each other a little bit more, sort of leaving the Gen Xers out in, out in the dark a little bit. 
So, well, how does this all translate into, let's say, education, or how do how are the Gen Xers like trying to make their mark on the world? Does is education play into that at all? Absolutely. Um, Gen Xers are actually going back to school now. They're studying still. They're lifetime learners. They're very interested in staying on top of technology and and what's going on in the world and. Um, they are enhancing the technology. They're, they're creating new technology. They're using Web 2.0 um, skills and um, programs. And they're actually teaching the um, boomers as well as the millennials how to, and, you know, how to grasp all of that technology, which in the education realm is very important because right now we're in a transition um, into a more educational setting that is run by um, technology and more learner-centric rather than teacher-centric. Today's students are part of something called the media generation. Some of them are referred to as digital natives, meaning they were born into a world knowing technology as a way of life, not as a novelty or an innovation. This is their world. It's digital life to us, but to them, it's just life. This digital life, it's a good thing. It's going to help your kids create, meet people, explore, uh, compose, express themselves. They have more powerful tools than they've ever had in any generation in history. If I understand this correctly, right now the boomers are sort of the people in education. They're the superintendents, they're the decision makers, but they're not really the ones that are embracing the technology like the Gen Xers are. Absolutely. But it seems that the millennials really respond to technology, right? Right, absolutely. Okay. So really the Gen Xers are sort of have their hand in both areas trying to convince the baby boomers this is the, the way to go. Yep. Right, and, and sort of helping the millenni millennials along. So, you know, inevitably the boomers will step down. So let's say 20, 25, hopefully not quite that long down the road. What, how do you see education? What do you think it will be in regard to technology? Well, that's really hard to predict. Um, the way that technology has advanced in the last 20 years is incredible, it's phenomenal. Um, I don't know if we're at a stalemate where things are just going to, um, you know, get better incrementally and slowly or if it's going to continue to climb the way it has in the last 20 years. But technology is definitely at a pivotal point right now and it's very important to, to where we're going in our, um, you know, our, our education system. So. Um, I'm hoping that in 20, 25 years from now, um, technology will be in every classroom, will be available, you know, cost effectively without any limitations. But um, I also hope that the concept of using technology as an innovation rather than a novelty will not become a problem. How does all of this translate to the teacher? They're the ones in the classroom. How does that translate to them? What, what changes? are down the line for them with regard to technology? Well, I think it's very vital that teachers understand learning theory and how students learn and how each generation differs from other generations. Um, teachers need to be flexible and need to realize that, um, you know, millennials learn differently than Gen Xers did and Gen Xers learn differently than boomers did and, you know, the next generation that comes is going to learn differently than the millennials. So. We have to be continuously prepared and make an effort to keep ourselves apprised of new technology and what's coming. Um, in order to teach the millennials, we ourselves have to be um, educated. So I think it's up to the teachers to, to take responsibility for their own education and stay on top of things. Thank you, Brenda, for all your great insight. I'm Mary Jo McCleary. And I'm Brenda Rialto. Thank you for joining us on My Generation. Generation.